welcome believers and educators of the divine living in the universe in which God has created. God put this on my spirit this morning. You know, when you know the truth, when you speak the truth, good and good or bad, you're going to have many people try to silence you and things of that nature. Even when you ain't done nothing wrong. Even when you, when you, and what it, what it's really about is people see you leveling up. They see you striving. They see you doing better than you was. And you speak the truth on good and evil. And that just boggles people. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you have a blessing that you're already living in. And you have a blessing coming. You know what I mean? So you're going to have people to hate you. You're going to have people to tell you to shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Put a muzzle over his mouth. Uh, strap him down. Yeah, I done been through all that. But I'm still here. And I'm still talking and breathing. You still here. You still talking and breathing. They wanted you dead. And you got sense, you got notion that they wanted you dead. They wanted you excluded. They wanted you not included. But God said you included in my life. God gave you that mouth to speak. God gave you that body to use. God gave you that brain to think. God put loyalty in your mind, heart, body, and soul. And they tried, the enemy tried to take everything from you. The enemy tried to steal your blessings. The enemy still trying to steal your blessings. But one thing the enemy forgot, the enemy forgot that you got the blood of Jesus running through your veins. And they hate that. And it's very strong. And it's very powerful. You don't need no weapon. Let them call you uh, B-A-N and all that. You know what I mean? They're going to call you all type of stuff. Some people hate you just because who your family is, because who you associated with. And some of those people will come into your family and try to turn your family against you. And when you get notion and sense that that's true, yeah, you get mad and you might speak on it. But don't even worry about it because God got you, baby. God got you. That's what happens. Remember when you wasn't doing nothing with your life? You know what I'm saying? Remember when you was sleeping on the floor on that pallet? Remember when you was sleeping on the couch and all you was doing every day, smoking and drinking, going, turn up here, you know, here go $20, here go this, that, and the third. People love you when you need them. They hate you when they see you don't need them because you got God's validation. You don't need validation from people. God loves you. If I lose it all today, if you lose it all today, because you have that light that shines within you, God is going to rise you above all these cowards and hating people that despise you, that you may despise. You are going to rise in abundance and love and peace and prosperity because you know deep down in your heart, you know, and God know you only have and had good intentions for any situation that you ever been in. Yeah, when somebody put their hands on you, you defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I tell people, be careful. When y'all aiming and aiming them guns and weapons and stuff like that. Because the devil wants you to shoot and kill another person. So that God can say, hey, you turned your back on me. And God will send you to hell or send you to jail. Trust me, I know it. And don't let no other person get you in they bullshit, in they trouble. Because people will try to mind manipulate you and mind fuck you. That's why... It's best sometimes to get alone and get the answers from the heavenly father. And the truth shall stand while the lies fall and pass out in the stands. All the truth is going to stand. Even if you pass out, your truth going to still stand. 
God loves you. Peace and blessings. I'm out of here.